Bristol. Despite being in the midst of a biodiversity crisis, there are still some unique places that still attract some of the largest gatherings of mammals on the planet. One of them is the plains of the Clifton Triangle. The warm, wet climate has created ideal conditions for the drum and bass scene. As darkness falls, students begin to emerge from across the city. Inactive during most of the day, they've all come here for one reason, to mate. Nightclubs like these are found across the world, but here in Bristol, they attract students in astonishing numbers. Running high on both hormones and drugs, they come out in full force to seize the spoils of the night. The most common species to gather at the rutting ground of Gravity Nightclub is the Stokus bishoperium. A generalist species, neither the males nor females are picky about their maze. The only real challenge they face is being checked for ID. Students like these are really required to put on an impressive display, so now it really is survival of the fittest. The greater spotted bouncers vigilantly patrol the club entrance and are particularly ill-tempered around the males. In response to being denied entry, some of the smaller males may resort to negotiation. For some, it's no challenge at all. Others, however, will have to wait until next season. As the night progresses, some of the larger male students begin to make their way towards a brass pig. For these males, being ID'd is a mere inconvenience. It is now that both the males and females get to work. But not all the males can rely on size and vibrant plumage alone. They require riz, a behaviour involving males at least pretending to be interested in what the females are saying. This seasoned alpha male has seen it all before, but riz requires patience. It seems his work has paid off. For some pairs, courtship is a slow process. Others, however, waste no time. Once a female has selected a mate, it's time for the pair to retreat from the attention of the other students. What happens now is a private affair. The students are not, however, alone. Predators. The students will face many challenges on their journey to the club, none, however, as perilous as the Triangle's K-Hole Corner. Named after its many claimed victims, we're only now discovering the treacherous conditions this stretch of habitat conceals. Having come so close, they can go no further. But where prey are vulnerable, predators are always close by. Stalking the streets of Bristol, these nocturnal apex predators are in search of the night's natty students. Armed with sharp latex gloves and an impenetrable high-vis shell, they have claimed their first Stokus Bishop here. Sensing nearby danger, the other students scramble to save their fallen members of the troop. A whole Stokus Bisoperium can sustain these apex predators for up to a week, and in this harsh environment, the odds are not in the students' favour. The students must move quickly or face detection 
to the ever nearing danger. It's now or never. For this male, the perils of the Cahor Corner are just too extreme. With no other option, his troop is forced to abandon him. Sensing his weakness, the apex predators draw ever closer. But it's not over yet. Summoning the last of his strength, the young male makes a desperate break for cover. It seems tonight a larger gathering of students have distracted these apex predators. Back in the safety of his troop, the young male has made a lucky escape, this time. Tonight, the predators have their eyes on more nimble targets. After a long night at the rutting ground, the students must now find water and food if they're to survive. With club water levels at the lowest on record, they must migrate if they're to find it. Students are specially adapted to pound kebabs, which are relatively common here in this otherwise barren habitat. And Donovan's is one of the best places to find them. At large feeding sites like these, food is plentiful and competition becomes less tense, for now. Larger males require exclusive access to food, and when neither backs down, fights can ensue. Battles like these can last for hours, and can often be to the death. Once the fighting males have dispersed, other students can return to their kebabs in peace. On the pavements of Queen's Avenue, females reconnect after a night of pretending to ignore one another. Now that the students have done what they came here to do, they must now return to the safety of their nesting grounds in the North Village. Students densely flock together to catch the U1 current. A national phenomenon, this is the largest migration of students anywhere in the country. Despite their differences as rivals in the club, this is a special time for males to reconnect with others they haven't seen all evening. With the U1 current almost overflowing, it's now a race against time to catch it. Unfortunately, not all the students will make it. The females that miss their chance will often band together to catch Ubers. And when they hunt as a group, these Uber drivers stand no chance. For most males, however, smaller migrations on foot are preferred. Some males have been known to travel huge distances like this. Males who are unsuccessful at attracting mates can often be seen carrying a road sign home as a form of victory prize. Despite being a well-studied species, still no one knows why they do this. Spectacles like these will only continue if the precious habitats of these students are conserved. And as the sun rises over Bristol, a new day brings new opportunities to diurnal species unaware of the night's unholy activities.